Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 90 of FTB Interactions, uh, where I am setting up, you know what, I'm going to need some more chassis Mark 1 pipes, uh, some drawers to get some stuff. Why are we for chassis? Yeah, give me like 10 of those, would be cool. Uh, so we're here doing this. Cool. Just getting ready for this little shindig here. So, um, these three and these three. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. So, uh, I am currently processing rare earths. Uh, so you can see this stuff here all comes from a centrifuge of rare earths. And as a reminder, we're getting rare earths from something automated because we have like a big uh, barrel of them here. I mean, not that big, but big enough. Um, so the little tiny piles of rare earth get combined into one big thing of rare earth and then centrifuged. And what I want to get going here is a quick sort module because the standard sorting module is way too slow. Okay, we already had a couple of these. Well, that's exciting at least. We already had a couple of these dudes. Oh good, and my item sync modules are ready too. I'm going to convert them all to um, crafting modules, but we also want six of them to be providers and six of them to be polymorph. That'll do. That'll do. And that's one of these bad boys. All I need is one more, and then we'll be cool. So my plan for today, uh, and I want to show you also what I've done a little bit between episodes while I'm waiting for those to craft. Uh, over here, I set up some EV-based auto-crafting stuff. So I taught this thing how to make some of the more advanced circuits that we're going to need. So nothing too exciting, just some teaching of auto crafting like I've kind of figured you guys have seen me do enough of that this series so I made these um, EV based machines I made the ability to make more EV based machines with all the auto crafting like the, the motors and all that good stuff uh, so that's pretty cool and I'm working towards getting uh, the diesel engine so that's kind of the next big uh, power provider for us we're not struggling for power yet but we're not doing great on power however I do have kind of an interesting plan on how to make power better ish um, that I would like to go and, and, and accomplish. So there's a couple things I want to knock out process-wise. So first off, I wouldn't mind getting some Nakwita doped uh, monocrystalline silicon mules because Nakwita ingots, which we just got access to because we, you know, found that planet, Aurelia, uh, and blocks of silicon 9 will make a Nakwita doped crystalline bool. We're also going to need some argon, which uh, I'm guessing there's a cool, uh, there's a gassy enriched egg that can get me argon. Sweet. Do I have access to that guy yet? Do I even have that? I might already have him. Do I have gassy enriched eggs? I mean, I should. Yeah, so we might have argon somewhere. Do we have argon somewhere? We do have argon. Yay. Sweet. We already have argon. Cool. Um, you know what I'm going to request here is I'm going to get some kits to upgrade that because I don't know how much we're going to need, but I want more. In fact, get me two sets of kits. Oh, we're missing redstone again? Oh, killing me, smalls. I'm always low on redstone. I'm literally always low on redstone. So generally, because because I'm I'm both always low and never like really low on redstone, I usually do it this way. So that's a good, you know, easy way to do the redstone-y things. Hey good, my stuff's done. Uh, so I'm working towards that because uh, if we look at the power system, we will see that the next major power producer just gonna get away from this loud machine. The next major power producer is gonna be the, the diesel engine. Slaps engine, this bad boy can fit so much pollution in it. It's a multi-block power generator, which uh, uses diesel and it defaults to 2000 EU per tick. Uh, adding oxygen, it can be boosted up to 6144 EU per tick. If you aren't convinced yet, this also consumes diesel at a more efficient rate than single block generators. So all in all, this thing is like a really good power producer. The other thing that I'm thinking is, um, do I have access to Flux networks at this point? I'm hoping that yes, I do. So Flux is made in a mixer with Flux crystals. We also need liquid antimatter to get Flux. I think I can accomplish that. I think. I think I can do liquid antimatter. Um, we're going to need some platinum. We're going to need some Flux crystals, which isn't bad. It's just a mana diamond with redstone, so that's easy enough. And then that'll get me access to, to all the Fluxy thingies, right? 
Uh, we're gonna have to do some assembling, but maybe. So failing that, we could always do um, do this thing, um, the Spectre Energy Injector. So what I'd like to do, I think, is revamp how some of my power system works. Um, if we were to do CEFs, right, they convert Forge Energy into Greg Tech EU, and there's a tier for each of them. So what if we consolidated all our power gen into just the diesel generator, feeding power into um, like this guy, an extreme voltage battery buffer, that then feeds its power directly into a Spectre Energy Injector? Right, and then that Spectre Energy Injector use Spectre coils or flux networks um, because this converts, you know, EU into RF. Then we can feed the RF into a CEF for the different tiers of energy we need. Right, so we could have like you know a, a, a low voltage CEF. Right, so that even though it's like the diesel engine, it's powering our vo low voltage machines using RF because it, the RF will be turned into Greg Tech EU at low voltage power. And we can do this wirelessly, so that means we don't need to have as many wires running all around our base, so that would probably clean things up a little bit. Um, it seems like a cool plan, and I think it'll work, I suspect. Now, did I leave the quick sort in you? I did, so what we wanna do, so that's kind of my plan, right? So I'm gonna polymorph and provider you guys, right? So providers. And we should see a bunch of stuff flowing over here now. Yes, Quicksort did his job and he is behaving himself. Nice. Beautiful. Loving it. All right, so that looks pretty cool, right? So that's kind of my plan. Um, so, so step one is build diesel gen so that we can really power these. We'll probably want to fill this up with more Lapitron crystals. We'll see how that works out. I'd also like to probably start considering upgrading my machines, but you know, at this point, it's really more about, um, getting the power gen going and distribute it across the base. And then we'll kind of go from there. I'd also, also like to look at upgrading my diesel into nitro infused diesel and cetane boosted diesel so cetane boosted is a combination of biodiesel and tetram nitromethane in a mixer or diesel so diesel or biodiesel either way um and then this one is the cetane boosted diesel with liquid starlight which we've already got well and truly automated so we don't have to worry about that too much and that'll give us a lot actually of power um quite a boost in terms of rf generation because um looking just in the chapter here um 1440 eu or 1920 eu and that's using the like less efficient generators right getting this guy up and running would be even better so i think that'll be cool so it'll be a lot of power um, for not a lot of resources, and that should be awesome. So this will really just like get us going for the next tier. Now, if we wanted to go crazy and we wanted to get into fusion and all this other stuff, all these quests are listed as optional. So I think it's like if you want to go crazy and get ridiculous amounts of power, you can. But I'm thinking we probably won't need it too much. Uh, at least that's what I'm, I'm thinking. I'm hoping we'll find out. So hey, speaking of kits, y'all's done in here. Let me make sure that we have a nice stock of you there, Mr. Argon. Nice. Uh, whether or not we will need, you know, a lot of that, I'm not sure. Now, what we definitely need a lot of is oxygen, um, because oxygen is what's needed for the quantum assembly, uh, because this guy needs a healthy amount of somebody in here needs a healthy amount of annealed copper. I forget what. But anyway, let's try and make the diesel engine because I taught my system how to make most of this, but we're still probably short in a few things. Two titanium gears. Really? Is that all I'm short on? Nice. I can make those. Uh, this is a normal gear? No, it's a small gear. That's not a normal gear. That's not a normal gear. That's a normal gear. Sweet! We are at an impasse with extruder. Um, I should do the crafting manager and all that good stuff uh, from logistics pipes. So we're going to want a crafting manager. Let's get four sets of these result pipes and satellite pipes. We're missing some redstone, which is a surprise to no one.
This is just the better way to do redstone. It just is. Okay, let's try that again. Result times four. Satellite times four. And let's also get um, one each of these kits. So I think oxygen is something we're going to need a lot of because I've actually been low on oxygen. I don't know if we'll see it in here, but eh, I've been doing too much crafting. Um, oxygen I'm actually surprisingly low on uh, and, and, and had been. Now, right now my oxygen is coming from a basic centrifuge, right? So we're really slowly but surely producing oxygen. I might need to ramp this dude up to HV or EV tier uh, just to, to really, you know, get lots of oxygen going on. Do we have another source of oxygen? Like, where, where can we get Greg Tech oxygen from in a hopefully decent amount? That's mechanisms oxygen. Uh, I guess you oxygen. Uh, so centrifuging air. It takes 80 seconds to get a bucket of oxygen. That's a long time. That's at ultra LV, right? So next tier up, is it half that for 40 seconds, I think? Uh, we also get it from the gassy enriched eggs. We get a little bit, but not a ton. But that's really, you know, a lot quicker. Is that what you're doing over here, buddy boy? Are you the gassy enriched egg? You are. And you're making oxygen. So where exactly is your oxygen going if, you know, not nowhere? Also, are you even running? I feel like you should be running, but you're like empty and your thing's not moving. So why aren't you running exactly? Working disabled. Oh, okay. That's a thing. The thing I just discovered is happening. Are you like hit with this dude? Is that what's happening? Yeah, you can see all the work I've been doing. I also hooked this thing up to the logistics pipe system so I could auto craft with it again. Is that what happened? Oh yeah, I guess I turned you off, huh? Ah, look at you, all right. So oxygen is going somewhere, but where? Where, pray tell, is oxygen going? Oh, probably into the trash can. Yeah, probably into the trash can. Okay, so maybe I should get another tank so that oxygen can go in there. And that'll be like, you know, kind of nice. Uh, so let's get another tank. I actually like to craft my tanks this way. So this way we will have another source of oxygen. Cool. We'll be back in a minute when all this crafting is done. I wonder if my thing got stuck here again. I tell you, this happens every now and then and it's super annoying. See everything flushing out of the system right now? That tells me that for whatever reason this bridge pipe was broken. So again, just break and replace the pipe and it usually solves it, but it's super annoying when it happens. And I have no rhyme or reason for why. It's just every now and then it decides to be broken and it's not cool at all. All right, back in a minute. All right, so that should be cool. I think I want your priority to be high and then you match what everybody else does, right? And you're not doing any extract in, so that's cool. All right, so then you can go back to, so you're at one bucket because I turned off the extract here and now we turn it back on and you should be getting oxygen again. Beautiful. So that's gonna give us another source of oxygen that will help a lot. Cause I think we're gonna need a lot. I think we're gonna need a lot of oxygen. Um, let's make sure that we have a provider pipe for fluids, fluid satellite pipe, fluid supplier, fluid provider. Yes, that's what I would like. Let's just make sure that that's up here too. Um, that sounds cool. I might throw holding on him just for fun. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. If I, cause yeah, I needed a lot of stuff, believe it or not. And yeah, it's gonna, it's just gonna be a bit. All right, you guys almost done yet? All right, so now we're doing gears and gears. And I already put all my crafting guys in here. So you're gonna be gears and you're gonna be gears. And that's pretty cool beans. All right. So that now, uh, what, what was I missing? Titanium gears. Titanium gears. Uh, so let's do this, this, this. 
titanium gears are made with four titanium, I presume? Yes. And that should be cool. So now I should be able to request a diesel engine, right? Now, I just want to demonstrate to you guys how much oxygen this actually is going to use here. But we have 100 here. Just want to note how much we have of each. So like 100-ish. My goodness, I can't fall down the hole. Uh, and 34, right? Which, actually, I'm very happy with how much oxygen we just produced because that means we're going to have no problem with oxygen, I think. Booyah. So now we've got 36 there. So we didn't use any there. And, haha, see? Look how much oxygen it took. We had 100 oxygen in this thing a minute ago. And now we have none. And we're probably extracting oxygen from over here as well at this point. Yes, we are. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, we needed a lot of oxygen, didn't we? <laughs> Holy cow, is that a lot of oxygen was needed to make that stuff. I think most of it is going in here for annealed copper. Um, because something needs annealed copper, I forget. I, it's one of these crafts over here. Um, I think this dude... No... No, no. Yes, 16 annealed copper per electric motor, right? So for the diesel engine, we need one, two, three, four electric motor. So that's 64 annealed copper just for the diesel engine itself. So FYI, annealed copper needs lots of oxygen, uh, and we're going to need lots of oxygen is what it comes down to, right? And that's why I decided to start stocking up on more oxygen. Cool. So that's uh, that's that's the thing, right? And wow, you are not producing eggs fast enough. Maybe I should get a second roost. I mean, I could. I could easily get a second roost if I if I really felt like I needed to. Here, a second roost is definitely possible. Mm, I'm thinking yes. So what I'm doing is stealing these guys. We're gonna go over here. Who's got a lot of seeds? Nobody's got a lot of seeds. Okay, boom, boom. There you go, 16, All right? So now you go there and we'll just make another roost and that'll be cool. Because, like I said, I suspect we're going to need lots hey, of oxygen. All right. So now we got two chickens. Awesome. And if we find out that that's not enough oxygen, we'll just eventually deal with that problem. I think what I'm also going to do is remove this guy. Because I think he's causing a little bit of an issue. What I'm noticing is... Even though there's oxygen in this tank, it's waiting for this tank to get the oxygen before it sends it over to here. So it's kind of like stuck on like, I should get oxygen from over here, even though, no, you shouldn't, sir. That's not, I mean, we have oxygen elsewhere. Please source it otherwise. But it's like, no, nope, I'm just going to wait. That's okay. I can help a little bit at least. by doing a little manual transfer. But I think what I'm gonna do is make this my primary source of oxygen going forward. Uh, so to do that, I'm gonna remove this oxygen guy and just make it so that you know it's always available elsewhere. But now you have oxygen, so let's go with the crafting and the such. Come on, let's go. Well, that's nitrogen. How did I get nitrogen in there? Do what now? Oh, well that explains it. Carbon dioxide? No. I'm going to need a filter, aren't I? I think I am. I think I am. I didn't realize how many different things were in there, but I need an oxygen filter. So, hang on. Maybe that's part of the problem. <laughs> Maybe it's not misbehaving. Maybe I didn't build my system correctly, which wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, I just assumed that was uh, oxygen in there, but yeah, up. Let's um, filter you. 
oxygen from Greg Tech. Cool. And then where can I dump this stuff? There we go. He is actually behaving again. Nice. Well, that's cool. Um, so let's break you and replace. Break you and replace. So I guess it doesn't hurt to have this here. So that's fine. We'll just leave it. All right. Did you finish your annealed copper? You're getting there. Getting there. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how much annealed copper and how much oxygen we need. This is why I wanted to make it a big point that I was, like, ramping up my oxygen production. Because, like, I requested one thing and it needed, like, 200 buckets of oxygen. It's, like, crazy. But we're getting there. All right, guys, we're back. And I've got a diesel engine. Hooray! That is step one of many. <laughs> uh, now, to go along with that, we're going to need eight engine intake casings. So we're gonna need eight of these. Let's see if we've got, you know, something along the lines of what we need to make this happen. Now, just for curiosity's sake, yeah, no, this is a manual craft, which is awful. Stable titanium machine casing and four titanium rotors are things we're gonna need to uh, teach this thing how to make. So let's get to work, shall we? Um, so I've got a lot of these things that's cool. Stable titanium, I assume that's an assembler. Yeah, no card, needs titanium frame and six titanium plates. Do we know how to make titanium frames yet? We know how to make bronze, aluminum, stainless steel, and invar frames. So we should probably add that to the list as well, right? Whichever one of these has like a normal, that, there we go, that, yep, yep, whoop. That one, that one. <laughs> now that's going to meet uh, circuit one, so that's you. So you're going to get the titanium frame recipe. Now that shouldn't hopefully be too bad. Right? So you're going to be titanium frame, which will be you. Uh, you get four of these, right? Um, and the recipe is three plates and five rods three plates and five rods. So that's gonna be five rods and three plates, sweet. And then we also need to know how to make um, stable titanium frame, stable titanium machine casing. Uh, and that's going to be one frame and six plates makes three. One frame and six plates makes three. Cool, now we just need four titanium rotors. Now I think that's also gonna be uh, an assembler. So a titanium ring and four titanium plates. We'll do it in this assembler because it really doesn't matter. Assuming that we're good on crafting modules. Okay, titanium rotor. One titanium rotor is one ring and four plates. One ring and four plates. And I assume that you don't know how to make rings, right? Correct. But luckily we have a ring maker over here somewhere. Normal pipe. Uh, I added that for the pipe mechanics that we're gonna need. Ring, hooray. All right, one more slot before we have to make another crafting guy, but that's okay. We're gonna do it. Uh, so the titanium rings are four per ingot. Four per ingot. Sweet. All right. All right, engine intake casing. Not too shabby. Looking good. Now, how am I for titanium? Because this is all titanium, this thing. Between episodes, I kept requesting large amounts of titanium um, and, and throwing them into the system. Because we have, like, a keep in stock of 64-ish over here. See? Um, but, like... You know, what I would do is I'd request those 64 and it would like craft more. Uh, so yeah, we've got a healthy amount, but we'll see if we need more. So that all looks like it's behaving. So we need eight of those. Now, the big note here is that we get a big bunch of quest rewards. So I don't know what the deal is with these quest rewards, but I, I can't tell if this is enough for like multiple diesel generators. That would be cool. And I think this falls into the category of we'll share stuff, right? So like, you know how some multi-blocks from Greg Tech can share their their sides or whatever. I 
think we could sneak it along with this one, but we'll find out. So I'm hoping that the rewards I get is enough to make a second engine, and that would be awesome. All right, so once this engine intake casing is done, we're gonna need seven more of those, which to me feels like a lot, but it is what it is. Um, so you're almost there. We're just waiting on some more plates and stuff. So we'll come back in a minute. What I'm gonna do is because we know we can make that one, I will make the other seven off camera. So I will be right back. Actually, that should be done now, right? Because I think you just finished. Yeah, so that's one. <laughs> that's one. Seven more, please. Good news, they were all successful. That's pretty awesome. All seven of those were successful, so that's great. So we didn't quite have enough titanium back stuff, which is why it's crafting more, which is why this is taking a little while to finish, but we're getting there. Um, and I just stole the 63 titanium that I've kept in stock there so that it'll request more. Hey, look at that. We've got eight engine intake casings. Booyah, that's another quest complete. Uh, now, the other thing we're going to need for this fanciful quest uh, is going to be 22 stable titanium machine casings. 22 of those. Now, we just set those up to autocraft, and we've got five, so we're going to need 17 more. Oh, my goodness. We actually have 11 in here. Sweet. So if I request that, it should have no problem making that happen. Beautiful. Now, the other thing we need is titanium gearbox casings, which I'm sure will be fun. Uh, that's gonna We're going to need two of these bad boys. Two of these bad boys. So actually, that doesn't look bad at all. That does not look bad at all. And we get three per craft. So I mean, super duper not bad at all. Right? Okay, so we're waiting on one more titanium gear, which I assume is on its way home already. Hooray! So that's this guy, and that is these 22. Those tasks are complete. We're actually making progress on this, which is beautiful. Three input hatch LV. Three input hatch LV. That should be easy enough. That should be cool. Uh, and then an energy output hatch EV. HV or IV. Let's go EV. EV output hatch. I don't think we have any of those. Energy output hatch EV is what we're going to want, right? And then that will complete the quest. And then we can, we can start with just our regular diesel going into there. Because the current diesel that we're producing is going to be uh, extra efficient in there so we're going to start with that but then uh we're going to do uh the boosting all right so that's that task complete and then just this dude request nice so this is complete quest complete booyah now the question is an important question is this everything i need i have no idea like does the quest rewards let me make one like I only had to craft half of it and the quest rewards give me the other half? Or is the quest reward giving me the ability to make a second one? Now obviously I would have to make another diesel engine if I wanted to make a second one. Because the quest rewards do not give me that. But we'll find out in a minute. Uh, we're also going to need lubricant by the way. Which I haven't quite looked at yet. Um, it looks like it needs calc or soapstone dust or redstone. Well, I don't know, not bad. Um, that doesn't look terrible at all. If I can use redstone and seed oil or oil, I think we're in pretty good shape, right? Like, that is not terrible. Anyway, I came over here for factory blocks, and do I have a building gadget? I do. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, just kind of like we did last time, is, is build out, like, a platform behind here. Um, and I'll just do, like, how about we just do a horizontal column. Does 11 sound good? Oh good, it didn't actually build anything there. Nice. Okay. It's not bad. Uh, now I don't know if we're going to need a little bit more, but we'll find out. But let's like bump this out. I don't know. I just feel like we want this to be a little bit bigger. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Um, so it looks like... Uh, if, we're, if we're looking at this dude, right, um, we'll see that we want like a three by three base of these guys, right? I'm gonna build this like here-ish. That might be a little bit too far back. 
You know what? Actually, I want him even closer, probably, but we'll see. So yeah, let's do like three by three base here, right? Now, they can, it looks like to me, if we do this properly, share sides because this side of the machine is all casings and doesn't need any kind of inputs or nothing. So if we put two diesels next to each other, they could share this side of the structure, right? So I think that's gonna be cool. Uh, now we're gonna want our energy um, output here, right? So he can output energy to like the, the things, the cabling, right? That sound cool. Um, and then we're gonna want intakes Oops. Like this. Cool. Uh, now we're gonna want inputs for these three. Because remember, uh, if we if we look at the book, I'll tell you what these three inputs are for. Um, it, you can use the Greg Ted Pong. Blah, 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 blah. It requires a small amount of lubricant to continue operating or it eventually sees up and stop working. It also gets boosted by adding oxygen. Um, so by default, it's like 2000 EU per tick, add oxygen, and it's 6144 EU per tick for just regular diesel, I think. Um, and then adding lubricant. So we're gonna want basically fuel, oxygen, lubricant. Got it? Um, now, nobody told me where to put these titanium gearbox casings, but my assumption is right there because I don't see them on the multi-block diagram. Um, so if we do this, I'm hoping that that's a valid multi-block. Invalid structure, I was incorrect. What did I do wrong? What pray tell did I do wrong? So that was correct. Yeah, I was right about two titanium gearboxes right behind the diesel engine. Uh, that looks right to me. Did I do something wrong? Bueller? What's invalid about you, Chief? Did I did I count wrong or something? I mean Bueller? Bueller? Hello? Anyone? Energy output hatch EV, that's you, right? Energy output hatch. Yes, good, I got the right kind. Three LV input hatches, which I mean, the quest said to get LV input hatches, so I can only assume that's the right kind, right? Like, you know. On the multi-block picture, it has an input hatch EV. I mean, I could try bumping these up to EV input hatches, but I don't know that it would matter, but we could try. Um, let me just yeah engine intake casings on the front diesel engine there it shouldn't matter like which side the input hatch is right you would think not yeah no i really feel like i built this correctly what i can try doing is just this just for fun oh Oh, you know what it is? Hold on. He doesn't want input hatches on his edges. That's the problem. Um, can I put oxygen input up here? That will be the question. Yes. Cool. Okay, perfect. So that's what we'll do. So we'll have oxygen input up top or lubricant or whatever, right? And then this side can share with, with, with the other guy. So that seems pretty cool. All right, nice. So diesel engine, no lubricant at the moment, no fuel at the moment. Um, let's let's add some fuel. So let's um, let's just get a bucket of diesel, just just for for fun, right? And to see how well this goes. So is this diesel? It is. All right. So if we come down here and we add you, you're running. Cool. Uh, outputting twenty. 84. Now, here's a question. Do you stop burning fuel when you don't need to run no more? I believe the answer there is yes. See, look, he's not using fuel anymore. So he quickly burned through a little bit more than half a bucket worth of diesel. But now that his EV output here is full, see, 
like on the whale tooltip, it's full of uh, energy. He's no longer doing the thing. So that's pretty cool. And that's 2048 EU per tick with just regular diesel. Um, when we get to nitro and cetane and all that stuff, it's going to be a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to call that wrapping up point for the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll look at getting this stuff. We'll get oxygen automated in there. We'll get um, lubricant going and all that other good stuff. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time for more power. Uh, I'll hand in this quest. This will give us, um, it looks to me like enough to make a whole nother one of those guys minus one um, engine. But it gives me some uh, EV motors that I can use towards making the actual diesel engine. So that, you know, makes life pretty good. So we'll make a second one of those probably. And we'll have two of those things powering our entire base. So what I'm going to eventually do uh, is, is, is use, like I said, the CEFs and the CEUs to wirelessly transfer power using the Spectre Energy Network um, to, to send power from this dude to all our lower tier machines. So we'll basically replace the high energy battery buffer with a CEF, or we'll just put a CEF behind it, and then we can cut down on a lot of the dire wire, um, which I'm pretty sure is a recommendation, um, you know, all around. So... Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, you don't want to get into a dire wire situation here. That's that's definitely true. Yeah, yeah, definitely no dire wire situation. That's bad. All right, guys, that was twenty signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.